Heimer. I think that that has definitely helped with, uh, you know, Tom and Jerry be able to, like, kind of wait it out and use the uh, Maybe. projectiles for it. But uh, Does Shaggy – here's the good question. Does Shaggy have anything to beat Jerry, like, when he's on the ground, like, kill him in one hit? Uh, mm, probably – His, like, neutral attack, his, like, forward smash thing? Probably just forward smash. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. Because characters that do have that very easy way to just get rid of him immediately um, – they do solid. Yeah, like just having that alone like means you like almost do the matchup. Like it's that important. It and looks like he tried to go for down attack, so maybe down attack. Or maybe I mean down attack ends real fast. You could do another one real quick. So maybe two of them. I, I don't know. Well, most characters have like two uh, attacks mostly. Yes, to, most characters to get rid of Jerry. But there is like the odd character that just can delete him, like Taz. Yeah, Taz, Taz can just, literally just swallow. Yeah, just like literally just go up, eat Jerry, get yeah. Anvil. Um. <clears throat> But in this in this Ooh. kind of matchup, we're gonna oh. see <laughs> the the down special coming out of the Shaggy here and just completely spiking that first stock. But really good edge yeah. guard so edge guard so far. That is the reason I think like Shaggy, despite like having losing matchups, can mm -hmm. can win anything. Like just having that down air and tools like that off stage means you can just delete cheese out. socks. Yeah, like it, it, they make one mistake off stage and that's just it. So you always have that comeback factor. Yeah, that move, uh, I remember that move didn't see really any use whatsoever. And then I think Shaggy's realized, wait, this button is good, especially yeah. when you edge guard with it. So I like the use of Tom, like the Jerry Rocket, and just bring it back because it does, it stops jumping and forward approaches as well as it keeps Jerry close to you so you can just re pick it up. Yeah. And if it hits, then cool, you got free damage. But I think the most annoying thing about. Uh, oh my god, those tennis balls, like the yeah. placements of those were really good. I think the most annoying thing uh, when it oh, comes to sandwich. a Tom and Jerry is going to be like that rocket. That rocket is so yeah. good. Oh. Look at it. It's like it, it covers so much area. Yeah. And, and it's it. a frame. It's also like a frame one or two option comes it, out very quickly. And well, as soon yeah. as you activate it, goes straight up. It's like a, I don't know if it's better or worse than Bugs Regular. Is, like up rocket. Because they're uh, both, like, super quick to come out and mm -hmm. kill moves. I think that yeah. – I honestly think Jerry Rocket might be you slightly better. Because you can control it, and on top of that, it has a faster startup. So it can't be – also, if you punch, um, like, bugs out of it, it's gone. But if you punch Tom, you trade and you pretty yeah, much blow up. Yeah, exactly. You just can't do anything against it. But look at the Ooh. pressure Ooh, that he's uh, applying now. Yeah, right now he, he's, he's evened it up quite a bit, but uh, this is Shaggy. Um, so just one uh, side special or up special uh, can just seal it, especially if he has Rage. Sice is one of those believers of um, the projectile block perk still being a valid option. Um, you can see him using it even in this matchup here. It did stop uh, Jerry from hitting him earlier, but it's like I feel like the one second like timer on it is so small that it's very rare that it's it half a second half a second it's oh jesus second. it's one second in doubles okay it used to be one second in singles two seconds in doubles i mean two seconds of doubles was just insane it was nutty it was so good i guess in this kind of matchup uh dynamite i think you only get hit by one and it'll block the other like it'll block a second one but like outside of that i don't know yeah I, my every time i go to like Think like, all right, oh, he was ready wow. for him to come out and try and, uh, you know, stop him. He didn't have much recovery left, so yeah. he was like, "Let me just bait him out here a bit." That, that's what happens to me every single time I go off stage. I, I swear to God, I'm <laughs> it's so like you bad just get reversed. Stage. Yeah, they just like tap me and I die. It's I'm not. Like, why did I do that? It's not. I, it's not where you belong. That? That's all. Yeah, it's not where I belong. <laughs> you belong in the but court. But it, it's cool to do that. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun to do it. But yeah. um, um, even stocks here, though. Yeah. Uh, God, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. Um, in terms of perks, I always ask myself, like, No! Oh, I try to finish my sentence, <laughs> then I always keep dying. Dude, the instant transmission takes two stocks that game. Oh, gosh. That was, Crazy. um. I mean, he had no resources left. He didn't have anything he could do. Um, jumped in. Sice called him out. And that's all she wrote. Like, there's nothing you could really do about that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, what I was going to say before I get, keep mm -hmm. getting interrupted by them killing each other. <laughs> Uh, is whenever I go to take a perk, I always ask myself, is this better than having just a triple jump or Taz Trig? I think, Or yeah. that's flammable. You know, yeah. There's so many, like, super good perks where you're like, all right, yeah, it's nice, like, that I can avoid this specific situation, but 
I could just. Why oh, is it two? <laughs> it's two. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's fine. I um, blame the keyboard. <laughs> but it's, I blame the keyboard. I, and this is the replaced keyboard too. Um, but I get what you're saying. Like there are just certain perks that you need to prioritize over other ones because uh, they're just that much better. Yeah. Do you think like, all right, how much more percent do I need to get tacked on in order to die with Taz Trig versus the extra percent I'm going to save from maybe not getting hit by projectiles mm -hmm. in this one case, maybe, you know? Um, here's the, the size Classic. You hit him with the slow, and then you get your charge. Yeah, I think that the um, Sice's ability to, you know, rack up the damage and find those uh, charges is what make, makes him so scary. Uh, I feel like he always finds the opportunity to get that charge in. Yeah. Uh, even, like, in the middle of neutral, he'll just jump up and charge mm -hmm. him for, like, a quarter of a second. Yeah, and just kind of build up on that timer. I've never seen Jerry bounce like that. I think that's the first time that I've seen like when you that throw kind Jerry of, in the yeah. ground. Yeah, that bounce also is a hitbox. What? That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, the up air taking it though. Very strong move. Good hitbox on it. Um, if you have Jerry on you, I think it has a sweet spot too. If there's no Jerry and it's just the garbage lids, I don't think it does though. Oh really? Yeah, I think it's uh, every time I've heard the sweet spot noise is when Jerry is in the middle. Oh, I did not know that. Ooh, wow. Calling him out. That was so good. That was just. That was really good positioning. Wow. Like, he set himself up to be in that right spot, and it's like, okay, does Piggy go high or does he go it low? Was, I can cover. It was just the magic read. He just yeah, he was, he had him downloaded there. Very much so. This is a very intense uh, set out of these two. Yeah. Uh, I mean, right now, Sice is, is down. Ooh, the up but, airs. Oh. But he keeps taking stocks in just the most ridiculous ways, so it's hard to really say who's in control right now. But, ooh, down air to up air. I think the combos that Tom and Jerry can pull out are very, they're very like one, like one, two, three. That's about it. Like very yeah. short, but they're super consistent. They are. Oh, oh almost getting God. the stock there too. Uh, speaking of consistency, I mean, Shaggy is literally that one character I feel has been a menace since the game came out because yeah. of just the overwhelming KO power of the character. Uh, just can kind of steal out stocks like no one's business. He's one of those characters, no matter what skill level you're at, he's mm -hmm. still good. Oh, and yeah. You don't really see that much in this game. You'll see a lot of characters that will start off not good at all, but as soon as... Oh, oh that read! Oh, if, if he up special there, he would have gotten it. But if he up special, yeah, I don't think he was... I don't think he thought that that was even going to interact like that, but it almost oh. got the stock all oh, falling out of the ups, uh, the rage yeah. up special. That's it always sad to lot. see. It happens way more than I would think. It seems like when it's whenever it's raw or right off of a jab, that's where it. Uh, uh, I said, oh my god, it's scary. I'm surprised that um, he's still using the perk where sandwich gives you rage faster, just because of the fact that they have sandwich back as like you can throw sandwich and then use an option. Um, I think it's a playstyle thing because. Sice is just somebody that charges constantly. I guess that makes sense then. So he's going to jump up to it right now. Oh no, he's going to throw it. He's, now he's going to jump up. He's Never trying mind. To, <laughs> it seems like he's trying to create space first. Like, you might as well just throw out the projectiles, try and build up the damage, because wow. you're going to lose your stock. So. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe he was trying to play a little passive there, because he's like, all right, well, I'm going to stock up, gain some extra percent. But it sandwich just, is not Rick Laser. No, it's not. <laughs> it, it's not going to give you passive damage. It's not going to get you like that. You know, the extra percent, unless you're like really good at reading it very small that combo was, there but it was weakness stats. that was smart because the the up special may not have connected mm. that instant transmission was always going to connect and he was looking for the weakness stacks pulling out the sandwich on top of jerry seems so ballsy to me because it's yeah. just like you're just asking to get corked yeah unless you have an armor move just never be near jerry unless you're intending to kill him that might be why a down attack is a good option because of the armor on it. Or does it have armor still? No, only forward attack does. Um, when that had armor, it was probably the best move to use against Jerry. Yeah. It might have taken two to kill, but again, you got armor, so. Mm -hmm. So you get to kind of just do it without worrying, yeah. Tries to go up for special. like a... Yep, that's it. Down air into up special being a thing is, is scary, too, because that, that's, I feel like that's a very early option that can get a KO out of Tom and Jerry as he goes for it right there, Ooh. almost gets it. Ooh. If he had Jerry, I think he he died there. Yeah, I'm actually surprised Peaky let him get back to stage. He went to go like pick up Jerry and like recover. That's, I think he could have just kept pressuring. That's the one thing that I tell a lot of the Tom and Jerry's that come into my chat too. It's like, why are you 
giving up your advantage state to get Jerry when you can just continue to pressure and then eventually get make yeah. your way slowly over to him. Especially because once you lose your dodges and specials in this game, you can just kind of do nothing but float. Oh, that's going to be it? No, not yet. Heavy Shaggy. 147 <gasps> almost gets sniped by Jerry, though. He did that last week, too, where he's just like, all right, sorry, Jerry. Mm, okay. But the downer is going to take it. Um, we got 1-1 one, one out of this. This is, again, a very this is what I close set. I could definitely see this. Like, this going all the way is, is kind of crazy um, because, like, Piggy's own first tournament was last week. Uh, definitely showed up, showed that they are, like, you know, going through it. But it's like when you've got Sice, you think consistency. Um, <clears throat> Sice has been doing very well throughout these tournaments. So see him being pushed back in that game number two. Um, it's... <laughs> um, to see him getting pushed back a bit is... Um, it's got to be a little bit like of a... Okay, how do I switch this back up so I can gain control again? I do think that he's doing very well in what a matchup I would think is still in Tom and Jerry's favor. But um, he definitely needs to reel it in a little bit. It was close, but not there yet. Uh, so they're going Sky Arena, looks like. No? Where are they going? Scoobies. Okay. I mean, I, I can see how this benefits both players. Um, I think Sice is looking for the, the ceiling being super short. Um, but Piggy just has so much room to play with. Yeah, uh, plus stage. plus tentative swallows react the same way as your basketballs do, where they bounce off of the stage. So you're getting those active hitboxes again. Although the walls are gone, so I guess <laughs> that gone. don't matter. Uh, <laughs> those That was yeah, quick. They, they go real quick. Um, I feel like a good stage... For Tom, uh, not necessarily. Um, I think it's good shaggy. for both of them, but I think it might slightly favor Tom. But I, I guess we'll see. It looks like they're scrapping pretty hard. So honestly, if they're gonna keep doing that and Piggy's not allowed to get uh, stage control, then this is just good for Shaggy. Yeah, exactly. Um, but the stage I was actually gonna say is the Ooh. Game of Thrones one. I think that that would actually be pretty good for Tom and Jerry. Um, yeah, that, that's I think, insane. I think the the tennis balls would just go insane on that map because yeah. they don't seem to have like a distance that they travel. <laughs> um, but very close so far, 85 to 97 on the percent. Um, Shaggy is one confirm away from getting an up special, though. If he could just land the jab or almost gets it with the down special um, I or side special, I would wow, think that... Sandwich hit. Oh, oh, and he reads him again. Another good up B. Precise, taking it. And, and right back right, at him. Yep, Piggy just falls right back up. Um, I don't think that um, this is going to be any way slow. These these two are really scrapping. Um, yeah, no. And honestly, with how fast that first stock went, I wouldn't be surprised if we see an early stock here too. Excellent shoots the tennis ball the wrong direction there. But uh, yeah, it definitely looks like Piggy's just, he, he doesn't really care. He's just going for it. Um, oh, ooh, man. That's a very scary spot to be in. Has the five stacks of weakness. Can he press him with those stacks? No, he's going to get a little bit of a combo off and then go right back to trying to kind of keep Sice at this slight distance away where he can get certain combos off. Wow, that hit. And yeah, he, he's oh, definitely one to just sacrifice Jerry. Oh, yeah, to, he's literally just... To he, get the chance of getting an early kill. <laughs> he's gone for, like, Jerry spikes and just been like, goodbye, yeah, Jerry. Sorry. <laughs> So I definitely – he does not care. It looks like Jerry comes back relatively fast, though, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I think it's like 10 seconds, I want to say. Shorter than most cooldowns, to be honest. Yeah, it's really not horrible. Those 10 seconds are very scary, though. Um, but, again, you're on this stage, so um, you got plenty of room to run. Uh, you do have a lot of room to run. There's It's a large FD-style stage with uh, short blast zones on the side and the top. So it gives you a lot of room to kind of play around on stage. Ooh. That's not going to take it just yet. That I'm also noticing uh, there's plenty of room for just Shaggy to charge, too. Yeah. A lot oh, of, oh, there it is. He called him out. He finally got the t uh, the Jerry snipe on him. Almost gets the up special, but just doesn't pull the trigger there. Yeah. Get, gets the free uh, charge right there. Let's see if he could do anything with it. I know he, he might get the hit, but he hasn't been able to do any like crazy combos with weakness stacks to make he has it not. Like, super useful. He hasn't been able to get anything off of the weakness stacks, per se. Uh, goes for the Ooh. read. Doesn't get it, though. No that recovery, was, that though. That's a good guess, though. Almost gets the double spike. That probably that wouldn't have knocked him out, but it would have put him in a bad spot. Charge. Oh, 
he's following. Yeah, he's not he's not giving him the time to charge. He wants to rack up damage before Sice can do any, you know, yeah. get that KO option back. You can see Piggy's trying to aim right below where uh, Sice is to catch him falling out of the charge. That makes sense. He's like, yeah, I'm not going to shoot you while you're charging because I know you're going to drop charge immediately, except for that time. <laughs> That tennis ball almost led into that Sair there. I wonder if there was an even further follow-up afterwards. Uh, 88, this is starting to look very damaged. Piggy is, has a very good lead here, has all the momentum. Sice really needs to get something in order to get this. No. But down air into the up special, going to take that game. Wow. Yeah, uh, super close, um, just like I, I figured it would be. Mm. Um, you know, I think the Iron Maiden shirt is what uh, put Piggy over. <laughs> I think that's why he won, so... Good stuff to him. Uh, Sice balls. And um, just as I say that, I realized that we did not do predictions for either of those games. Shh, it's okay. That's why I kind of looked at it. And I was like, we're so far into game number two, though, that it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Um, but good stuff out of Piggy getting that. That was a very good win for them. I don't know if they played last week, but that was very solid. Um, very solid set, all uh, things considered. So I think it's is it.